Hello and welcome to my channel Patient at Art. My name is Asian Goat and in today's video I'm going to draw Georgia R. Martin with graphite pencils and charcoal pencils. For about two weeks I have ordered the Stadler Lumograph Black Artist Pencils because I really love drawing realistic portraying graphite but the problem with graphite is that if I gonna put a lot of layers with graphite it really always gets shiny and, and if you put a lot of pressure on it it is also getting shiny and the Lumograph pencils they have a high proportion of carbon and that is why they don't really get shiny. I love those. I love that pencils. I have a set of six pieces from the Lumograph pencils and they come in four different degrees. It has cost me about 8 euro 50 on Amazon and that, is, that isn't really that kind of expensive. But the result with those pencils were just amazing. They don't really shine on the paper even if I have put a lot of pressure on it because I am someone who really have a heavy hand and drawing with graphite becomes really difficult for me if into darker shades and with a lumograph that doesn't really happen. As I already have told in my first video I don't really watch a lot of tutorials on how to draw. For example, how to draw an eye, how to draw a nose, how to draw hands and stuff like this. Because I tend to copy the artist. And in my opinion, everyone has his own kind of techniques in how to draw. But I watch a lot of tutorials about proportions and shadings. And I really started to study the human body. I have to apologize for those kind of time lapses, but the record time was all in all seven hours and I really had to cut off a lot of the material so I can keep it short. This pencil is, by the way, a charcoal pencil from Faber-Castell. I had to make it with charcoal to get into the deeper dark, because even though the Lumograph are really dark, but charcoal is just even darker. And that is why I choose to use the charcoal pencils. But I have only used them in the very darkest part of the drawing. Because it was the first time drawing with the Lumograph pencils, I wanted to test a lot of things and how far I can go with those pencils. And so I decided to blend with the solvent. And as you can see, the result is really good. Those brushes I'm using to blend um, are just regular makeup or eyeshadow brushes that I have bought on the drugstore. As you can see, I really use the e stumps and the brushes a lot for blending and shading, but I shouldn't use the e stumps a lot because they are really destroying the surface of the paper. Especially people with heavy hands like me shouldn't really use that stump. But learning by doing and I'm still at the beginning, maybe I will find another way of blending, but for the meantime I'm okay with that.
That isn't, by the way, the final beard. I just was testing out what kind of highlighter or what kind of white color I should use for his beard. Um, I think this one was pastel, soft pastel from Koinoa. Shading clothes, so it looks more realistic, was really a challenge for me. I was always bad at drawing clothes and making it look really realistic, but this time I, will f I really enjoyed it. And I think it is, it is okay. For the highlights in his eyes and in his glasses, I used the Posca acrylic marker. After testing out a lot of different pencils to get the best result for his white beard, I ended up using the soft pastel pencils from Koinor. The highlight from Greater Color was just not really white enough and I also had tried the Karandash white pencil but that wasn't really that kind of good on graphite and that is why I ended up with Again with the Koinoa soft pastel pencils. For the brooch on his head, I decided again to use the Posca acrylic marker just to let it stand out and to highlight it even more like on the reference picture. We are almost done with the drawing and at the end of the video. I, have, I hope you have enjoyed the speed paint with me. And if you have any feedbacks, just left a comment below. Next realistic portrait drawing will be uploaded on the next Sunday. This upcoming Wednesday I have planned to make a marker drawing with my Uhu markers and my Touch 5 markers. And I will be glad if you join me. The video will be uploaded on Wednesday 7 p.m. in German time. Thank you for spending some time with me. Hope to see you the next time. Bye! If you like the channel, hit the thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you!